Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hi friends, in this lecture we will see by far date functions. So first we will see how to add months to a date. Second, we will see how to add days to a date and finally we will see how to find the difference between two dates. So let's walk through the code first. So first we are going to importing our required function. So we are importing add underscore month, date add and date difference functions. Also we are going to import date type from pythpark.sql.type to convert our high date column from string to date. So first we are going to execute these three commands. And let's have a look at our df2 schema. So here high date column converted to date. Now let's see how we are going to add months to the date. So here by using select, we are going to display the required column and we are going to create a new column next month. So in the next month column, we are going to add less one month to the high date values. So for that, we are going to take add underscore months function. Inside that, we are passing high date column and passing integer value as one. So this one means that we are going to adding one month to the high date values. If you can place two here, it will add two months. If you can place 10 here, it will add 10 months. So let's try to execute this one. See here, the first record has sixth month and next month value has seventh month. The second record is eighth month and next month value is ninth month. So this is how we can add months. Let's say for example, you want to go back to the previous month. So to go back to the previous month, we are going to add minus here. So let's try to execute this one. See here, the high date and previous month. The first record has sixth month and the first record has fifth month for the previous month. And second has eighth and this has seventh month. Now we will see how to add dates so to add dates the format is same here but instead of taking add and for months we are passing date underscore add function and inside that we are passing high date column and we are adding one day to the high date value if you want to add two days you can pass two here if you want to add 30 days you can pass 30 here now let's try to execute this one see here High date and next day values, or the first record has the 13th day, and the next day value is 14th. Here 15, and here we can see 16. So let's say, for example, if you want to go back to previous day. To go back to the previous day, here we are going to place minus, then it will go back to the previous day. So let's try to execute this one. See here. The first value is 13 and the next previous day value is 12 and here 15 the previous day value is 14 right now we are going to see how to find difference between two dates here i'm going to creating a new data frame df3 by adding one month to the high date value and it is going to have high date column also so let's try to create a new data frame here and have a look at the data Right, and have a look at our schema also. So both are dates. Now we will see difference between these two dates. So to find the difference between two dates, we are going to take date diff function and inside that we are passing the required columns which you want to find out the difference between two dates. So here I'm passing next month and high date columns which are dates and also we are going to display high date column and next month columns so let's try to execute this one so the difference between these two values are 30 days and the difference between these two values are 31 days so this is how we'll calculate difference between two dates thank you guys